We're on a 15 inch MacBook Pro. This uh, We do have a built in microphone and we are running Snow Leopard. We have had Snow Leopard about a week now. Uh, we have not had any problems with it and we think it's definitely a worthwhile upgrade. One of the things you're going to notice right away is that I keep the dock over on the left hand side. Um, I don't have a ton of applications. I tend to keep only what I really use and what I need. What I'd like to do is to talk about the dashboard. Um, I did a simple little video the other day uh, showing a minute 17 of what my dashboard happened to look like at that time. And uh, it's had over 500 views. I feel like I owe 500 people a minute 17 of their life back. So I thought I would try it again and explain some of what I have in the dashboard. Now, to get in and out of the dashboard, uh, you can either click on the icon, and you click on it again to get out, or you can click anywhere on your screen to get out of the dashboard. Another way is uh, I happen to have, uh, you can set a hot key. I've got F12 set up to bring me in and out of my dashboard. So you'll be working on other stuff, and in your dashboard, there might be something. Uh, if I don't have a web browser open, then I've got Google here in the dashboard. Uh, if I need to uh, check on a word, uh, spell check, I've got a dictionary here in the dashboard. So this is what I currently have in my dashboard. And these are called widgets. These little modules are called widgets. You can move them around and position them however you want. Uh, to manage them, there's a button down here on the left, and that brings you to a dock that has all of your widgets in it. Again, I'm very much like my applications. I just keep what I want and what I really need. I wanted to uh, try and explain a few of these uh, to you. Since the other video was a totally silent movie, you can see I keep the local weather up here. The, we're in the Nashville area. Uh, this particular little widget uh, shows you what part of the earth is in daylight and what part of the earth is currently experiencing night. Uh, that's a map that used to cost thousands of dollars from Sharper Image. The full moon was three days, 19 hours ago. Astronomy picture of the day and the solar viewer. Um, these are updated automatically for you on a daily basis. And when you don't understand what you're seeing in the astronomy picture of the day, for example, there is a description that you can click open to explain it to you. And uh, just about every day I have to do that. Yellow Pages, Google, uh, this is a great little widget for screen captures, does different kinds of screen captures for you, Dictionary, uh, the iStat Nano. Um, this is called Twidget, this widget here. Uh, if you have a Twitter account, this will automatically update your Twitter account. And uh, you can uh, post from here, actually, if you uh, need to tell somebody exactly what you're doing. And the uh, solar viewer, you can tell I'm kind of interested in astronomy and uh, where we are in the uh, cosmos. There are several satellites looking at the sun and uh, at any given time, so other images are available. And there is information to uh, learn more about whatever you are seeing. I've noticed uh, several times you'll see a flare on the sun and the next day it might be over here and then over here. So you uh, watch this stuff move across the surface of the sun. I've got sticky pads, uh, sticky notes over here. Uh, I'm from the Midwest, uh, lived in St. Louis for 12 years and from Paducah and currently living in the Nashville area. So I keep a lot of Midwest stuff on my weather maps. These are real-time stuff that's actually happening now. We uh, did have storms here in the Nashville area earlier in the day. And like I said, this is from the Weather Channel. Stocks, uh, this is not an advanced trading platform, but if you've been on the road, if you're doing other things, this gives you a quick little stock, a look at uh, what's going on. You'll see I uh, follow Dow, NASDAQ, some tech stocks, a couple of healthcare companies, uh, gold, silver, oil, and uh, the map, whatever you uh, have highlighted is mapped for you. You can go anywhere from one day 
all the way out to two years. Uh, DreamWorks Animation. Um, these are price changes. So of course, the market is closed today, Labor Day. Uh, so this is uh, all from Friday. And it uh, looks like it was a pretty good day with the Dow up almost 100 points and only oil down. Uh, if you'd rather see price changes in percentages, you just click right there. And uh, so that's, again, not an advanced trading platform, but uh, gives you a quick little look. And uh, like I said, you might be working on something and uh, want to know, you know how the market is looking. You know, just pop in and out of your dashboard. To manage your widgets. This little icon right down here uh, looks like the dashboard, and the dashboard is open. Well, you click that, and it pops up your control. Uh, these are the widgets that you have downloaded. Uh, of course, your Mac comes with many of these already loaded, and it's quite easy to add or subtract. These are the ones that are currently enabled. If there's something you don't have that you would like to have, because there's a, over 4,000 of these available, you would click that more widgets and it takes you automatically to the part of Apple to the page on apple.com where the widgets are located. Uh, you would kick, click open a category, whatever you're interested in. You know, 204 different uh, widgets for games. I'm going to go with food. And uh, I'm going to look for a calorie counter. And uh, there is a widget available. Click on more info, and it takes you to that particular widget. And it uh, gives you a look at it. And if you feel it uh, meets your needs, you would download it. Uh, most all of these widgets are free. The downloads are quick, easy, and simple. And uh, again, this is incredibly easy to do. I mean, this is a Mac. It is not a problem. Delivery status, uh, you know, that can be helpful. For example, if you've sent a package by uh, USPS, the post office, and you have a priority confirmation, just plug in your number. And uh, it's quicker and faster than going to their website, because actually you are on their website. Uh, to look up a phone number, for example, there's like a phone book. Uh, ski report. We don't really need a ski report living here in Nashville, but uh, the movies. Now, this is one that I have found helpful. And uh, click open the movie widget. This will show you all of the films that are currently showing in your area. Again, I'm in the Nashville area. And uh, it takes you, it shows you what theaters it's at. You can actually watch the trailer for the film. Julia Child, Bon Appetit. Bon Appetit. Before she changed the world, Julia Child. Was so you can see the trailer for the film. It's just an American. Uh, you can click on a theater, uh, pick a time, and you can actually come down here and buy a ticket or reserve a ticket. Uh, if you don't know where the theater is, there's an info box, and uh, you can click that, and you're automatically Google Map to where the theater is. And uh, you can get reviews of the theater. Uh, for example, this particular theater has 37 reviews. And uh, you might find that uh, somebody really likes the popcorn. Uh, somebody said the place was clean. Somebody else is saying the staff was rude. So that is your movie widget. So again, these are uh, just to look at some of the widgets and uh, quite easy to manage. Almost all of them are free, the ones that Apple doesn't already give you when you get your Mac. And uh, this happens to be how I have the dashboard on this particular day. And uh, I hope this has been helpful. I hope it uh, makes up for that other video. And uh, this is Labor Day. I hope you're having a good holiday weekend wherever you are. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.